my name is Vasim Ahmed. I am a student professor in CFC AIML department in ABS Engineering College, Bajabar. Today, I am going to discuss the topic tree and its basic terminology. Tree is a non-linear data structure that is used to represent the relationship between nodes and edges. Generally, we will we we call it nodes as vertices. So, I am going to take an example through which I am going to explain the nodes and edges of the tree. So, these circles are represented as nodes of the tree and these nodes we are going to connect with the help of these edges. So, they, there are multiple nodes are connecting with the help of these edges. So, this makes a tree. So, a tree is a hierarchical data structure defined as a collection of nodes. So, nodes represents values. So, these nodes having some values and these nodes are represented, these are nodes are connect, uh, connected by some edges. So, thus a tree is a connected acyclic graph that is a connected graph with no cycle. It means if a tree having a cycle, then it will not call as tree, it will call as graph. graph. So, if I am going to connect this is between these two vertices, then we will call it as graph, not a tree. So, if uh, there is a question, how, how um, many of trees are graph and how uh, many graphs are trees, so we can simply say, if our tree having a cycle, then we will call it as graph, otherwise it is a tree. There are next we have some terminologies. First one is path. Path is a sequence of nodes along the edges of a tree. So I'm going to explain this with the help of an example. So I'm going to draw a tree. I am going to draw a tree and there are some nodes and we are going to connect with the help of edges. These are connected with the help of edges. So, path refers to the sequence of nodes along the edges of a tree. It means if you are talking about this age, so this node, so this node is a combination of two edges from the root node. Root node is a special node of the tree uh, and it is a single node in a tree. So there is only one root per tree. So if you are going to take the path length or path uh, about, about this node, so the path length of this node is uh, uh, about two. We can say this edge and this one edge. Similarly, for path length for this particular node, this one and this one. So the path is about uh, path length is about two for this particular node. Next, we have some other terminologies. Parent node. So, if I talk about parent node, so parent node except the root node has one edge of what to a node called parent node. Child node, the nodes below a given node connected by its edge downwards is called its child nodes. So, I'm I will take an example later on and I will explain these, these all topics in detail. Leaf node, the no node which does not have any child node is called the leaf node. If a, if a node in a tree doesn't have any child node, so we will call it as leaf node. Subtree represents a descendant of a node. Traversing means passing through nodes in a specific order. If you are going to uh, reach in a, on a particular node, so we, we have three orders. We have three types of uh, two tables. One is pre-order, second one is in order, third one is post-order. So traversing 
consist of these three types of order. So th this specific order is known as uh, pre-order, in-order, and post-order. Label, label of a node represents the generation of a node. If the root node is at level zero, then it next node is at level one. For example, I'm going to take with the help of an example. I'm going to create a tree, draw a tree. And after that, we will understand the term level. So these are edges that is connected between these two nodes. So if I talk about the talk about the level of a node, so at particular this node, at particular this node, and at particular this node, there will be a different level. As at root node, the level will be zero. At root node, level will be zero. And at, at the next child node, the uh, level will be one. Similarly, next node, the level will be two. And this will increase one and one. Next, we have this example. In this example, we have shown this tree. This tree A is the parent of B. B is the child of A. And C, D, and E are the sibling nodes. A, B, D are the ancestors of F. A, B, and D nodes are ancestors of node F. C, E, F, and G are the labor leaves of the tree because these are and doesn't have any child nodes. So we will call it as external nodes. We will also call it as leaves nodes. A, B, D are internal nodes. So C, E, F, C, E, F and G are we, we call it external nodes because these ha doesn't have any child nodes. Those nodes which have a child nodes, we will call it as le uh, internal nodes. For example, nodes D having a child nodes F and G. So node D we will call it as internal nodes. Similarly, node B having a, ha a no known as child node. Uh, known, as, known as internal node because it has a child nodes. Child nodes are C, D and E for the node B. So as per, as per this example, it is very clear that C, E, F, G are leaves of the tree because these doesn't have any further child nodes. A, B, D are internal vertices of the tree because they have at least one child node. This is another example in which we are showing, um, going to show subtree with D as its root. So we are going to construct this tree with the help of this given tree. We are, we are going to take some nodes of the tree. So this is known as subtree with D as its roots. Another example we are going to discuss in which we are going to take a tree and uh, tree having a root node A and its left child is B. So left child of A is node B and left child uh, of uh, node uh, B is D. So this complete makes a left subtree of A for this root node A and this makes a right subtree of A. And this is the right child of C. E and F are the childs. F is the right child, E is the left child for the node C. These are the differences.